My name is James and I'm today's introducer. So in our class AB, we have decided to make a short video about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We're dividing this into five parts. Enjoy and have fun. First, everyone has the right to go and come to, to another country. And second, everyone has the right to leave their country and able, able to return back to their own country if they do. So now we're going to do a small skit of right human rights and wrong human rights. This is the right, wrong human rights. 
Excuse me, can I go to that country? Uh, no, because you have high hair. Oh, so yeah, just uh, go to another airport, please. Okay. And this is your right, human right. Excuse me, can I go to North Korea? Sure, oh, okay. please do. Yeah. Okay, so. My name is James, and I give you this presentation. Our society needs more human rights to travel around the world. There is no barrier between different people and race. Rights for everyone to travel around the world is essential. Therefore, we need your help to improve the world. Speech by James K. All right, thank you for listening. And it's made by James. Michael. And yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and on this serious topic of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights created by the United Nations, we will be discussing Article 21, not 22, 21, Right to be in Government. And, and I quote, quote, When we leave our differences behind, we leave, when we leave the voting booth, pardon me, we leave our differences behind, and remember what unites us, Barack Obama, unquote, 2014. Barack Obama also happened to be the first African-American president in the United States. And you might wonder, why is he the first African-American president in the United States at this day and age and so late? Well, it could have been earlier if maybe these human rights had been implemented a longer a, longer, a long time ago, maybe we would see a more diverse group of presidents. But moving on from that shady topic, we can sum up this Article 21 in three easy points. First, everyone has the right to vote and to be voted, which means that no matter what you look like, where you're from, or what you believe in, you should be able to take part in the government and also um, choose someone to represent you to be in the government. Also, Everyone has the right or a fair and private vote. Um, the reason is that is because if it's not fair, it will cause a lot of troubles in the government and it will cause a lot of you know mess, as you say. Mm -hmm. Lastly, everyone has the right to be in government, which basically means you can either hold an office in the government, meaning to work, let's say, in the White House, or you can speak on behalf of a country or a person as a diplomat. Do any one of you who, who do any one of you know who this man is? Yes, correct. And do any one of you know how he impacted the world? No, okay. He impacted the world by um, trying to make an equality between the African people and the Caucasian people living in South Africa. Now, secondly, do any one of you who know the, who know the, do any one of you know who this man is? No. I need a hint would be great. Oh, a hint would be great. Cal, take it away. Beard. Face. Beard face. <laughs> Quote. Four score and seven years ago, none of us were born. Unquote. Abraham Lincoln, a long time ago. Do you know? Oh, okay. I'm not very sure, but maybe Abraham Lincoln? No, oh, yeah, you're correct. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay. He impacted the world uh, by um, freeing the African American slaves in the United States many, many years ago. This is the first article of the Declaration of Human Rights, the right to equality. You all must be aware of what human rights are. Human rights are the rights that will, should belong to each and every human. If you don't know what equality is, Equality is the same status, rights, and responsibilities for every member in a group, society, or family. In other words, fairness. There are three parts to 
the rights to equality. The first part is everybody should be born free and equal to others. The second part of this is that everybody should know what's the difference between what is right and what is wrong. However, it can be based on your own opinion. The third thing is everybody should treat others with respect and care. However, the right to equality is not exactly applied to the entire world. There are places such as Africa and the Middle East and many other places where problems such as slavery, sexism, and racism. <laughs> so thank you for listening to this presentation made by A and B. If you, uh, and if you didn't help, try. You can help us by doing all of these. So thank you for listening and